if you don't have color in your garden in the summer and think there's nothing that can give me any interest in the summer, you're wrong. There's so many different varieties and many new varieties of hydrangeas. We love this time at the garden center and we probably have 20 different varieties of hydrangeas in stock presently. And all of them are slightly different than another and all of them can add many months of color for the summer and into the fall into your garden. So no matter what your situation is, whether you have a small spot, whether you're wanting something very large growing, uh, we have hydrangeas that will suit that. The hydrangeas really do like a spot, a part shade is preferable. Um, they can tolerate full sun, uh, so they can tolerate five, six hours of sun. But unfortunately with our hot, dry summer, you'll be watering quite often. If you can put them into a part shade, say four hours of sunlight, um, especially morning sun, um, then they perform really well with that amount of sunlight as well and just won't dry out quite as quick for you. Uh, just to highlight a few of the varieties, we have our pink beauties in front of us and um, again, quite a few new varieties. Uh, this is one here with a very nice light pink flower to it. It first opens up almost a green and then turns to a white and quickly to a pink. And so you get many different looks to the hydrangea. This one is one called Everlasting Nobilis. And the Everlasting series of hydrangeas is fairly new out, so we've been carrying some for a couple years now. And they're called Everlasting because they, the flowers do last a long time. As you can tell, we're mid-July and the flowers are already fully open. So they usually start blooming the end of June and go right through into September uh, with flowers. And just a bit smaller flower, a nice dainty look to it. Uh, usually they'll get about the two and a half, three foot range. And um, so if you have that smaller area in your garden that you don't want something overwhelming it, uh, the Everlasting Nobilis is a, is a great variety to choose from. Another new series of hydrangeas that we have is, they're called AHA uh, hydrangeas. And they're in the red hydrangea family. Even though the flower color isn't red, they're called red hydrangeas or mountain hydrangeas. We have one here called Tough Stuff AHA. And uh, we also have Tough Stuff in stock. And it's more that flat lace cap type of flower. So instead of the large ball flowers that you see with a lot of the macrophyllas, it's more of a flat cluster of flowers, which is quite nice in the right situation as well. The tough stuffs are also a repeat blooming hydrangea. And so they bloom both on new wood and old wood. So they also start blooming early in June and will continue to bloom. Even once one flower starts to fade, if you prune away the first flowers, then they'll keep sending out more flowers into September. And so you can get months of color with it. I kind of like the lace caps, just as something different in the garden. Uh, we've all seen the larger ball flowers and they can be showy. But if you're just looking for something different or you don't like how the hydrangeas droop with the heavy ball flowers on it, uh, look at some of the lace cap flowers. They're quite interesting to, to look at there. Another lace cap uh, one that we carry is also another endless summer series. And um, it's also a pink in color. With the pink hydrangeas, usually you can adjust the color. The more acidic the soil is, uh, the more blue they'll, they'll become. And so the Twist and Shout is one that does that as well. Um, if in most of our soils, because we're more lime-based, uh, they'll be pink, but with adding aluminum and sulfates, uh, you can adjust the flower into more of a purpley uh, blue in color. And the Endless Summer series are great because it's, it's also a repeat bloomer, just like the Tough Stuff is. And so it blooms on both old wood and new wood. Uh, so it makes pruning a little bit easier as well. Uh, but this one will get to be about four feet high, four feet wide but just give you that long three, four months of flowers as well. So a great show in the garden. In the Endless Summer series, we also have a new one out and it's called Endless Summer Crush. And, and most of the Endless Summers are a bit paler pink in color, or again, a, a light blue. And the, the Crush one is very deep. They call it a deep raspberry. And uh, the flowers are nice and large. Uh, it seems like a very sturdy plant. At uh, the end of the summer series, are also hardy to zone four. So if you're thinking of taking one up to the cottage with you, this might be one you want to try. Um, but again, very long bloomer, starts blooming then in June, and it will take you well into September with flowers on it. As a bit of a, a different one here, we have an oak leaf hydrangea, and there's many different varieties. This one is called ruby slippers. And uh, when the plants are smaller, you don't really see it too much, but these leaves are oak shape, but they also get very large, so it's a great texture. I find the oak leaves can take a bit deeper shade. So if you're looking more at three hours of sunlight or more of a heavy filtered light, uh, they do quite well and still bloom. Uh, they're like the PG hydrangeas. You're gonna get more of an upright cone-shaped flower to them. They first come out the white 
but then the ruby slippers will turn a nice vi uh, vivid pink. It's just starting to turn now, kind of a rosy color, but it will turn a, a nice vivid pink yet before it's done. The oak leaves are great as well because they get that brilliant whiny red fall color on them. Uh, ruby slippers is one that will get to be around four or five feet high and wide. Uh, there is some oak leaf hydrangeas that we have out there that will get seven, eight feet. Um, so again, regardless of your size, you can find one that will, will meet your needs. Another hydrangea that we have is the Maja hydrangea. And it's a very vivid pink in color. Um, it's one of the larger flowered uh, of the hydrangeas and um, a nice uh, sturdy leaf to a very uh, dark green leathery leaf. And I also find the stalks very sturdy. So again, if you're troubled by hydrangeas that droop because of the weight, I find the Majas will stay quite upright for you in the garden. Um, they're not a repeat bloomer, but again, they're one that's usually in bloom by the beginning of July. And as you see, just in, in uh, beautiful color right now. And uh, usually uh, the flowers will dry really nice on them. And so you get a nice effect even into October on the Maja hydrangeas. If you were to come to the garden center right now, you would see all our PG hydrangeas that are in full bloom as well. We carry them in a shrub form, or they're the ones that you see in the nice tree forms as well. So it's a shrub that's just been pruned up to one central stalk, and they have the large showy white panicles of flowers. We have many different varieties, um, and they all come out the whites. So you'll see ones like Quickfire, Phantom, um, there's uh, one called Pinky Winky, uh, there's dwarf ones called Bobo, and another dwarf one called Little Lime. So again, no matter what size you're looking for, you can probably find a variety that will fit your size. But um, they first come out the nice whites, and then as they're out, just like this oak leaf hydrangea, uh, the flowers will start turning more of a dusty rose in color. Uh, we have one called vanilla strawberry, where the, the peak stays white longer, but the lower flowers on the panicle will turn pink. So kind of a nice two-tone effect. Uh, the tree forms, most of them will get to be about seven feet high, six feet wide. So just a nice little, if you want an accent in the garden, um, they make a nice little tree form, or if you like a nice formal entrance, maybe one on either side of your front door. Uh, can create that for you. Or the many shrub forms can be used in any mixed shrub border. The taller varieties, of course, towards the back. Or if you have a very compact space, but you just love the looks of them, then try out the different dwarf ones that we have, like Bobo, uh, which is one of the newer ones that we carry. But just a great show of color. And there's no reason why you can't have that all summer color in your garden and be the talk of the town. So we have lots of different varieties here and uh, getting new ones in every week and uh, they're flying out of here like crazy and we'd love to introduce them to you so come in and ask us to show you the hydrangeas not that you can't spot them but uh, ask us to show them to you and we'll tell you all the information about them.